Jasmine Sodega from Neuroscience yeah, at Table A4 at the exhibit. Uh, my question is, how do you define consciousness? Ah, ah. Um, I don't really believe in it. I get by fine without it. <laughs> um, so, part of the point of neural networks is people don't work by logic, they work by analogies. Um, they do logic when they get to be old and when they're thoroughly trained, but really they work by analogies. So I'm going to answer this question with an analogy. A hundred years ago, if you asked a biologist, what's life? Many biologists and philosophers would say, well, things are alive if they have vital force. And once the vital force goes out of them, they're dead. Um, that's not really a very good explanation. It's an attempt to explain something really complicated by assuming there's some kind of essence. And with this essence you've got it, without this essence you haven't got it. And that's just how people use the term consciousness. I mean, it's got many different meanings, but the sort of primary meaning is you've got this very complicated thing that's doing these very complicated computations, and um, if it's like us, it's got consciousness. I don't think that really explains anything. And I think it's not that we won't have consciousness, it's just that stop using that term. If, if a biologist now uses the term vital force, you just laugh at them, because we have molecular biology. We know what's going on, at least to the level where we don't need to use some vague general essence to explain everything. And I think consciousness is a vague general essence. It's meant to explain complicated mental phenomena, but can't. <laughs>